Hey everybody, it's Tim Van Orden out for a walk in Woodford, Vermont. The topic of today's video is walking. Is it useful as a training modality if you want to get fit and fast as a runner? And the answer is yes. I started today's workout as a run, but about a mile in, I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't that I lacked motivation, I probably just lacked calories because I'm feeling kind of lightheaded, light bodied. So after a mile of jogging, I decided to switch into a walk. Now, is that a problem? Should I stop my watch? Should I not count this? Should I not put it up on Strava? No, keep recording. This goes up on Strava. This is a big part of my training now, walking. I do what I call a big foot light when I walk, which means that my stride is a bit extended and I push out the back. So my glutes, my hamstrings, my calves, my soleus are engaged. So it's like a, a longer extended walk, but it's not a speed walk. It's at a normal walking pace, just with a longer, more aggressive stride out the back, which engages a lot of the push off running muscles. So walking, yes, do it, count it, put it in your training log. For the past year, I've been doing a lot of walking or slow elliptical as the bulk of my training. In fact, most of this spring, I've been on the elliptical machine an hour and a half to two hours a day. And the speed that I go at is that of a walk. I crank the resistance so it's not an easy walk, but the cadence is the same as a walk. I'm not hammering away on the elliptical. So walking pace on the elliptical and a lot of walking out here on the trails has gotten me in really, really good shape. I set a new course record on Strava on the Appalachian Trail not too far from here the other day and just missed another CR. And I didn't even try to go for the longer CR. I was just going for a segment within the, the larger workout, but I wasn't far off the long version of that course record. And I started by walking and took it really easy in the beginning and then gradually increased my speed no intention of doing that and when i set that cr many years ago i was training much much harder than i am now in my 50s so walking has got me in fantastic shape in fact last year when i was in sweden for a, most of the month of june and july 80 to 90 percent of my training was walking doing this bigfoot extended walking stride and when i came back to the states I was in phenomenal running shape. In fact, I ran a 441 mile on the road, which then eventually became my American record mile of 446 on a hilly course. Walking was my training. No speed work, no hitting the track, no doing hill repeats, no busting my gut and putting my heart rate through the roof. Walking, some running, and a little bit of racing, but when I race, I never go as hard as you would on the track or during an interval session. Uh, so, uh, walking, incorporate it into your routine. Uh, sometimes you may want to replace a, a run with a walk if you just don't feel like it. Other times you may want to add a walk to your daily mileage without the negative effects of too much running. So if you like walking, give this video a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried walking as part of your training. And uh, I'll see you soon. Okay, peace.